All right. Back yet again. Yeah, you know what time it is. Get the ventilation up. I'll clandestine go lab. Works pretty good. Yep. It's definitely pull it will pull the fumes out. We're gonna use this coupel. Ha! Coupel. My god. Okay. I just measure these out in equal parts. 1.24, 1.28 grams of lead. That's what we have here in gold. We wanna well, I just want a BB flying. We wanna add this together. And uh, stick in the furnace, and plus we'll get it all coalesced into one nice button, hopefully. This is a pretty simple exercise. Turn this thing on, let it get to 2,000 degrees, let it set for a second, and hopefully we got it. Now the only thing that concerns me is the only way I'm going to be able to get this thing out of there is use these salad tosser tongs. I mean, it's great, but it's the only thing I got. Whew. I've seen a couple cats on the on the interwebs use these to get it out of the ovens, but never a you know one like this. I don't think. So hopefully I don't stick it in there and just turns the mush and just melts. And then we're on crab river. Ha! We'll see. But we're gonna give it a best shot. All right, we'll be back. Cannot stress enough how much how much you need one of these thermometers if you're going to use something like this not just to check you know if you're getting close to your desired temperature but for safety that's what it's for okay, we're up 90 degrees on the outside of this but it's checking the cord the junction right there what are we here 80 degrees not bad you know checking the plug in with 79 degrees those are very important things to check. Randomly check your cord. If it's bundled up like this, it's kind of stupid. And then to give you a heads up, if you're getting ready to have a fire or something catastrophic is getting ready to happen to your system. So always like to check your, your switch. Okay? Because that's usually where it's going to fail out. Okay, especially this cheap Chinese junk. But this thing actually works. Fingers crossed. So, get one of these. They're like 25 bucks. We peek down in there. You can't see it but with the camera, but we're seeing the lead go into the uh, coupel. And we got us a nice, looks like a nice button in there. So, a nice thick button because out of the 1.24 grams of material that we call gold, didn't know how much of that was, you know, could potentially be other base metals. Okay, like copper, stuff like that. So, the lead will take care of it once it's uh, oxidized. So, okay, we're at well, the 60 hertz. I'm sure you can't see it, but we're at 970. We're about 20 Celsius off from pulling that cupel out. So yeah. a nice little bead on you. That is a, a decent little bead. I can say that. Wow. Oh, it's okay to do. It's clean. Didn't get no crap on it. Just focus it up. That is three times fine go, gentlemen. Ladies. Alright. Let's get a weight on this thing. Let's see what we got. All right, this is a little big blaze. One point two one grams. We lost point zero three grams. 
I'm just probably just junk and dirt and maybe I'd show you like a chunk of dirt we got with it or a chunk of solder. But that is great. Absolutely great. Well, now it decides to be 1.19 grams. Ah, okay. Whichever you decide, dear. I'll try it again. Those cheap scales. Now it's 1.23 grams. Take your guess. Okay, we're 1.2 grams, we're going to call it. We had to... <laughs> Alright. So, very good looking bee. That's a beautiful little bee to go. Alright. Heck of a process. But, I forgot exactly how much. It's a 5.5 grams, 6 grams of gold foils, not gold fingers, but foils, from RAM, from RAM, not, so these, these uh, what do they call them, PCMI cards, I can't even remember what they call these things, but RAM, this is a lower quality gold, absolutely, so RAM, 5.5 to 6 grams, I can't remember the number, 1.2 grams of 3 ounce fine gold. I'll take that any day of the week. We'll see ya.